jeez. I'd rather not... F I'd rather just forget about the past and go out and get my mind off this. Oop. I'm going out and getting my mind off. Wait, shit, that's the safe point door. <laughs> Made a grave mistake. One room houses trip me out. Partly because, like... Okay, first of all... Why do you have so much of the same manga magazine over and over again? Like, not even different issues, it's just the same... Volume. What's up, bud? What's going on? I know what's a trip about these places is that, like, I'm like... <gasps> It's like a single room situation, but, like, useful. Because, <laughs> like, I kind of live in a situation like this most of the time. I'm in a larger house, obviously, but I've just gotten so used to having everything that I own in one room over the course of several moves, because that's just been my living situations, that I'm like, you get a sink? <laughs> you get a stove? <laughs> Whoa! I do wonder if it would be better or worse to add a wall. On one hand, you divide into separate spaces in a way that's kind of nice, but on the other hand, you like, have the tiniest spaces that would be like claustrophobic. Hello, it's my friends all over the world. I have a request for you today. Lately I haven't been able to take any perfect shots, okay. Your luck's terrible. Stop telling me my luck's terrible every day. Let me find out on my own. It's rude. Hello. The world is populated with all sorts of outcomes, but first this guy. Hey, Datsu Shinada, right? Oh, uh, yeah. And you are? <laughs> <laughs> of course you'd forget. 20 years is a long time. I I'm not sure I follow. You really don't remember your teammate from high school? Your old training buddy? Wait, you played for West Comro High? Damn straight. I was there until we were juniors. The name Shirakawa ring any bells? Shirakawa? Holy cow, it's been forever. What a coincidence running into you like this. Coincidence? Hardly. I've been looking for you all this time. What? You've been looking for him for over 20 years? You weren't even 20 years old when you were in high school. Finally got a word you might be in Neg Nagoya. Well, it's an easy tracking your ass down. Is there... a reason you came to see me? Yeah! Revenge! Don't tell me you forgot what happened. Is this about that game in our second year? Bingo! It was the Summer Regional Final. The qualifier for us to go to the Nationals at, Ko at Koshien Stadium. What's wrong? Why don't you open your mouth and say something? I know I'm not speaking gibberish here. No, I, I know you're not. Then what? You'd rather forget what you did? Or maybe you can't even stand the thought of it. Well, allow me to jog your memory. That game that everything the game that everything rode on was locked in a pitcher's duel. Me, the ace of West Camero, versus Akamatsu, the monster who could throw a 150 kilometers an hour. It was the bottom of the ninth, score tied to zero. We had two outs, but also runners in second and third. I kind of know what these things are. Yeah, because you have three outs, then you change teams, right? You switch, but then there, there's two people on bases. There's a perfect setup for you to bang out a walk-off home run. Guess even a beast like Akamatsu must have been nervous. Well, with a ticket to Koshien on the line, he ended up giving away three balls and no strikes. On his fourth pitch, he deliberately threw a fastball outside the strike zone. His reasoning was simple. First base was open, so instead of giving the, clean, the cleanup hitter his big chance, it was safer to walk you instead. You could have easily walked to, t to first, but no, you just had to swing at that wild pitch, which became a pop fly that went right into the infielder's glove. 
That out caused the game caused the game to go into extra innings. But at the top of the tent, their batters ran me ragged. We got destroyed. Then he quit the the team the day after, and even left the school. Heard it was because you blew out your shoulder. My shoulder was wrecked, all right, but that's not why I quit. It was because I was betrayed by the guy I trusted the most. You mean... Yeah, you. Chirikawa. After my dreams of baseball went spiraling down the drain, I joined a small printing company. The year after, I watched you play at Koshin on TV. The entire time, I never stopped wondering why you went for that wild pitch instead of taking the walk. It took a couple years, but I finally got my answer. When you batted for the big leagues for your, for your one and only time. What are you getting at, Shirakawa? I'm saying you're the kind of scum that puts himself ahead of the team. You're... That, on, that only your own victory matters. How could you say that? Everyone knew Akamatsu was the tournament's top pitcher. I mean, you couldn't get a single hit off him the entire game. But you wanted to prove yourself, didn't you? That you were good enough to hit one of Akamatsu's pitches. That you were better off than any everyone else. Why else would you swing at an outside pitch on a three and nothing count like a fucking amateur? If only you had walked, we'd have been set for a game-winning hit. But there was no guarantee you'd get another chance at bat, so you went ahead and blew it. That's not true. I read that pitch to the best of my ability, and I went for it because I was sure I could win for the team. But at the same time, I simply didn't have what it took to get a hit off Akamatsu. That's all it was, man. Don't feed me that crap. You were a high schooler. You were literally a veteran of the industry. <laughs> You can say any damn thing you want in retrospect, but that doesn't change what you did. You talk like it was some miscalculation, but I know better. The only reason you pulled that stunt back then was to satisfy your own ego, and I'm going to prove it to you. How? By making you relive Akamatsu's pitching for, from 20 years back. That's how, Shinada. That's crazy talk. You yourself said you didn't have what it took at the time. That means... You think you can pull it off now, right? Hold on, Shirakawa. Are you seriously asking me to go up against Akamatsu from back in high school heyday? I'd like... Need a time machine for that. No, dumbass. I'll be doing the pitching. I can repl replicate Akamatsu's style flawlessly. You've been obsessively replicating a high schooler's pitching style from 20 years ago? This whole time? Just to spite another player? while also not being a baseball player? What about your shoulder? To hell with that. Point is, if you can hit what I throw, I'll know you had the skills, and chalk it up to all, all to a harmless error. What about his shoulder? Wait, is this, Oh, is that supposed to be an injury that's, like, permanent? But if you choke, that means you were shit to begin with. It'll be proof that you robbed me of baseball of your own, for your own pride. And I'll make you pay, somehow. Well, I don't have any money, and I can take you in a fight, so I don't know what your plan is. Is this what drove you to search for me all these years? To figure out what was going on in my head? Okay, then. If that's what'll make you happy, I'll gladly get a hit off you. Oh, boy. I'm not used to the, the baseball game, it's hard. You you really want to settle this with a crapped out batting uh, in a crapped out batting center? Doesn't matter. The lady at the desk told me you're a regular here. That's true. Must be hard clinging onto your dead baseball dreams. What are you doing? <laughs> That's not what this is. Whatever. This is how we'll do it. Our showdown will go for ten pitches. Hit a homer off one of them, and I'll call it a win. If you fail, you'll be sorry you did somehow. Understood. Fuck. I'm not practiced at this game. Minigame stresses me out a bit. <laughs> Can't touch this, Shinada. <laughs>
Uh, moves. We're doing that now. But I also have to get the timing right. That's stressful. Dude. It's a hit. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Not even sure if his argument even holds water, but okay. <laughs> there. Home runs in the bag. Now. I thought you threw hard despite your busted shoulder. That was, but that was nowhere near 150 kilometers an hour. That wasn't even close, Doc Amatsu. Can't argue with that. I'm pretty surprised myself. Didn't think my pitching got this bad. But you haven't been practicing? Then why would you think you could replicate the all-star mega guy that was not you at all in the first place? Shirakawa. Look, all I need is a little time, and I can re and I can restage that duel. I promise. Did you not just see what happened? There's no way you can pull that off. I will pull it off, and when I do, I'll expose you for the fraud you are. Don't you dare think this is over. You really can't shake the past, can you? Where do you think you're going, Shirakawa? Weren't you gonna smash Shinada into a bloody pulp? What's going on here now? His suit is so black it looks untextured. Kurosaki. Are you watching this whole time? Kurosaki? As in the same Kurosaki from high school? Glad you remember. I hope you know my life's been complete shit ever since that fucking game. Man, what is up with today? It's practically raining old teammates up in here. Shinada, it was Kurosaki who told me where I could find you. Everyone knew Shirakawa hated you. I thought he was out to take your life, but I guess he couldn't sack up. Drop it. I'll deal with him on my own way. Tch, what a tool. No, that'd be disrespectful. Tools are useful. Oh, so you suddenly hate my guts too. Why? What I ever do to you? And how do I know where you, and how do you know where I live? Listen to all these goddamn questions. What are you, a child? You completely fucked my job, smart guy. I did what? The home run king's record setting bat. I was gonna shake down the stupid security guard and sell that shit for good money. The job itself ain't glamorous, but it took time and effort to set up, you know? I had to pay off the other security staff and everything. Wait a minute. You were behind that fake bat extortion? Surprised? Should have seen the look on my face when I found out I when I found out I got boned by a washed up hack of a ball player who interviews whores for a living. Huh. So you rallied Shirakawa to get back at me. What's wrong with you, man? What made you go so bad? Simple. I want you to call a broker. Got something to do with baseball? Boom, I can turn it into big bucks. Mainly by lying, apparently. Lucky for me, this town has a pro team and plenty of baseball fanatics. There's no shortage of suckers, believe me. How could you stoop so low? Now then, you owe me for one wrecked bat heist. I'll make you pay for that soon enough. Just you wait. It's just the number of people all ski- Oh no, a third guy who's mad at me. To <laughs> What, is everyone just waiting their turn? This is absurd. Leveling up. You do some of it from the other stuff that isn't necessarily playing normally, I guess. Been a long time, Shinada. Huh? Who are you, old fella? 
Who are you call an old fella? Looks like he haven't matured much since junior high. Oh my god, it's even further back. Give me a break. Junior high? Wait, are you... You were a real hoot as a student. Wasn't it summer camp in your second year when you pulled that stunt in the boys' restroom? Uh, uh, okay, okay, I remember. You were my mentor in junior high. Coach I Igarashi. Haha. <laughs> Has it already been 20 years since you graduated? I guess it has. You trained me quite a lot back then. And the training was always something bizarre. Like Karate Kid references. You made me nap all day once, while everyone else on the team was sweating out in the sun. I slept in the shade all day long. Is that really what happened? I don't recall that. You had me do vocal training on the roof, too. You even made me clean the, your bathroom once with a toothbrush. Oh, yeah, that. I remember. Then there was that one time you made me wax your car. Over and over again. And then you admitted that it wouldn't help me at all. <laughs> Alright, actually a Karate Kid reference, basically. Oh, that was hilarious, wasn't it? I got that idea from a movie. <laughs> yep. It wasn't hilarious to me. I remember being pretty mad about that. By the way, coach. What are you doing here? I thought you lived in Tokyo. Almost right after you kids graduated, an acquaintance uh, got me a job coaching high school ball over here. Oh, is that right? What a coincidence. Yep. Of course, I'm retired now. Every day is starting to feel the same, if you ask me. Huh. Totally had no idea. Glad to see you're looking well. Yeah. You're not looking so bad yourself. I heard you left the big leagues long ago. But the way you're built, I can tell you haven't lost your passion. By the way, you're not in any trouble, are you? You seem to be squabbling with that guy from earlier. You're having a duel over baseball, as I understand it, you fucking weirdos. Uh, he saw that, huh? Uh, let's see. Basically, he's a high school teammate who I guess decided he has some axes to grind. I see. Think you can beat him? Oh, definitely. Though he did y used to be pretty a pretty good pitcher, and his determination to beat me is off the charts. So I don't think victory is going to come easy. Hmm. So that's how it is. Alright, how about this? Would you like me to train you again? Come again? What, is my training not good enough for you? Oh, no, it's not that. In fact, your training was what got me into the pros. Then there should be no issue, right? Seems like the training you've done on your own just hasn't been enough. You know why? Because it's impossible to improve on things you haven't noticed about yourself. Okay, but I don't think I'm going to play a baseball game, so... Actually, it's probably where this campaign leads. <laughs> kind of like correcting a bad habit. Yep. At present, you only have a subjective awareness of yourself as a batter. That is a very dangerous thing. Say, if a pitcher exploits a weakness you're not aware of, it's a, it'll be all over for you. To prevent that, I can obje objectively identify and train the areas in which you're lacking. Like I did when you were in junior a uh, junior high sprout. You do that for me? <laughs> yeah, you see, ever since I retired, I've been itching to work with young talent again. And don't worry, I won't ask for a training fee. Oh, that's music to my ears. Then, then yes, please. <laughs> Broke as ever, as I assume. I was a child. How... <laughs> Did I just come from a poor family or something? I'm like, how would you... How would you have a rapport with me about my income? My current situation feels incredibly divorced from my upbringing. Well, let's just get on with your training. You need to regain your instincts and properly assess your showdown. But if you train like I tell you, victory will be yours. Sounds good to me, coach. Very good. We'll start with some training to sharpen your dynamic visual acuity. Okie dokie, what's the plan? Are you about to blindfold me? Go fishing in mid-square. You want me to catch a fish? Seriously? Did I stutter? Now, be sure to concentrate on the water's flow. Ascertain the subtle movements of the, f of the float, and reel in your prey at the right time. 
When batting, one carefully determines the motion of the pitch and swings at just the right moment. Same concept. Okay, that's starting to make more sense. All right, coach, I'll believe you. Good, then go fishing. What you catch doesn't matter, anything will do. Loading around here is a drag, so I'm gonna go to, back to a bar I found. Over there. It's right here, a bar called F First Shot. Once you're done fishing, come see me. Knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised if you were too broke to buy bait, so here. Special worm. <laughs> right then, don't keep me waiting too long. I guess I should do a game since they're gonna put me here anyway. Just try to make just try to make some slow progress. Just a moment, young man. The fourth consecutive person talking to me. Ah. Uh, huh? That man who was pitching just now, wasn't that Shirakawa? Does he have some sort of bone to pick with you? He keeps coming by and hounding me for information. Sounds about right. He finally agreed to leave something in the bulletin board and get out, out of here. If you want to see the bulletin board, it's right here, waiting for you. All you have to do is ask. Okay. I'll make sure to check in with you whenever I'm here. The cost of a swing. Shinada's side story puts him against f uh, fierce rivals and tough opponents, all of them accessible via the bulletin board. Oh, so that's an entire- so that was like a, f uh, a mandatory introduction to an optional side thing? Oh, I, can't, I actually can't- I can't go bull I can't go pitching right now, or batting, blah blah blah. Words, correct words, say the right words! え、マジか。マジっす、マジっす。さっき該当テレビで言ってました。よりによって不死だかよ。まあ、俺もビビりましたけど、それにしてもあいつまだ監督やってたんすね。終わった。来シーズンも終わった。ギガンツなんだよ
sort. Well, they're both like protracted periods of patience. We have to pay close attention the whole time. Dude, this drives me crazy. They have to react to the thing and also press A at the timing while looking away from the... While having to actively look away from the actual uh, ball and its timing. But I clearly get better over the course of like the 10 hits. I think if it goes right, I swung too early, and if it goes left, I swung late. I don't know what that one even means. <laughs> I'm about to make a fool of myself. What the fuck? I can't even scroll that fast. Like, it doesn't go that fast. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> yeah. I tried to not move it and just press the correct face button and hope that would help, but. That's hard, that's hard to do right, too. Shoot, I totally crapped out there. What happened, Shinada? Is it really the best you got? No, no, I'm just out of sync today. Give me a, give me a few moments and I'll get back to it. Blah, blah, blah. Blee, blee, blee. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 Am I not losing money? Don't these games cost money? Is he paying for them? Alright, this time I'll just stay off the joystick and see if I can just press the right face button. But at the right time, but doesn't centering matter? I don't know. Ah, uh, he's tracing the fucking line, making it hard to tell what button it even is. There we go. Baseball's wild. I think I did like a campaign of it off camera mostly in like Kiwami 2 or something because I completed that game. It took way too long. Don't really recommend 100% completing these games usually. There's almost there's almost always some side thing that's just like not especially fun. There, that's how it's done. Shinada, that was crazy. You slaughtered that poor ball. How do you even do that? What's the secret? Secret. Hmm. How should I put it? Okay, so the way you grip the bat and swing, that's honestly up to whatever you like, really. I guess you can say there are three major things you have to do. One, keep your eyes on the ball. Two, perfect your impact timing. And three, try to hit the ball with your bat's sweet spot. The sweet spot, eh? Where is, where is it? Oh, that's kind of tricky to answer, come to think of it. Think of it this way. There's a line right down the middle of the bat. If you can hit uh, if you can hit a pitch on that line, that would be the sweet spot. Okay, got it. The sweet spot is the center of the bat. That wasn't a very tricky to answer actually. <laughs> that sounds about right. After this, you should go up against the mach the machines to get a better feel for it. Keep eyes on the ball. Great uh get the right timing. Hit the sweet spot. Shinada. I think I got it. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. If you can do those three things, you'll be hammering home home runs in no time. Sweet, I'll try that out now. Thanks, brother. Just sh sit back and watch your protege at work. It all comes down to practice. I should look in on him sometime. Oh, that's the entire side story. Or sub story. How, how could I ever mix these two terms up? I didn't get stats for that. Give me my stats. I need stats. Equipment. Garbage. It's all garbage. Congrats. Are they equipped right now?
think those are equipped right now. Opponents wanted. Anyone welcome? Please accept my challenge. Uh, excuse me. You there. Yes, you. Hot diggity dog, it is you. Boy, I've been looking all over for you. And you are? Oh, wait. Do I owe you money? Sorry, but I'm all tapped out at the moment. Pardon? Pardon? What's all this about money? I don't recall lending you anything. Oh, for real? And who are you? My name's Takashita. I've seen you bad here before. And let me tell you, you're a monster in disguise. Oh, uh... Thank you? Don't let them know I'm furry, don't let them know I'm furry. Uh, I've been pitching since I was a kid, see? I got a pretty mean throw if I do say so myself, so I'm wondering if I can challenge you. Challenge me as in try to hit my pitches? Yep, that's it. These pitching machines got nothing on me, you'd better not underestimate me. That's nice, but I'll pass. Huh? Why? Well, what's in it for me? Well, I can throw better than any machine and I'll even do it for free. I'll, I, I, I could throw a hundred pitches your way. Nope, don't got that kind of time. Well, what about 50? Nope. 10. How about 10? I'm sure you can do 10 pitches. I said no. Why on earth would you be coming to a batting center then? For, for gifts or to... Look, it's none of your business, okay? Oh, I see. You're a bounty batter. Bounty hunter batter. Very well. If you can get a hit off me, I'll give you a reward. A reward? Like what? Uh, like I've, something spectacular, I assure you. Please, if you can hit me at one of my pitches, it'll you win. A good prize. I want to hear. Okay. Sorry, it's just... <laughs> Like, this is extremely optional dialogue, and it's our 50th conversation about batting. I mostly just wanted to click on something that would give me one chance to get some experience. So it's like the equivalent of, like, Haruka... Haruka Street Battles. Wow, I pressed it way sooner than that. K.O. You're dead. That's all I wanted. This, and then the part where my meter meters go up. There's a point where I get, start to get really self-conscious about the amount of redundant dialogue that's not really that characterized or story-driven, but just kind of there, like someone was just ordered to write something. How'd you do it so easily? I am a terrible pitcher. His pitching's not that great, but he does have he doesn't have to get so down on himself. Uh, you're good. I just got lucky. You think so? No. But uh, the pitching machine's got nothing on you. Uh, it's just super incorrect. Where's my reward? Uh, how about this? Pocket tissues? You punk ass. How dare you. Wh okay, guys. Why am I the main fucking character every day here? Kashunk. Huh? What's the big idea taking my picture like that? Wicked mystery batter appears at the batting center. Challenge is wanted. Share if you like this content. Hey, what are you- what are you- are, hey, are you listening? Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to ignore. I'm Kotetsu, the blogger. You blog on that flip phone? Sure do. I blog about basically anything in baseball. Got me some mad page views, my boy. Okay. What makes- so what makes a blogger take a photo of me? Unwarranted, might I add. Cause your batting is supernatural, man. You hit a ball that someone threw at you. Impossible. I wanted everyone to know, so I naturally snapped a sick still life and posted it online. Wait, my face is on the internet now? You gotta be kidding me. Not cool, man. What? I don't see any problem. It's not costing you anything. I might even compensate you someday. Look, you can't just... <laughs> Incidentally, a lot of big baseball people read my blog. You may be getting challenges from some of them. Ah, uh, come on. It just sounds like a pain in the ass. Goodness, would you look at the time? Gotta run. See you at the cages again. Ugh. What is it with that guy? I got a bad feeling about this. There you go. Just wanted to deal with this a bit. Just the due diligence of like, hey, I'm at the... I'm here right now. I should do the meters a second. It's, since it's bound to come up. It's the same nebulous issue as the Haruka campaign where I'm like, uh, I should do some street battles or something? Like, I should level up? Sometimes. A bit. Probably. 
because the main story will make me do care not karaoke the main story is going to make me do idle performances at some point and they're implying that i need to level up but like if this was a jrpg you'd be like oh yeah you need to you, you got to do some of the random encounters because you need to be level 50 by the time the boss fight happens but the idle performances were so nebulous in what they even expect of me and so on that i have no idea if i even needed to level at all or not or if i was over under leveled throughout the thing uh but i won and so i'm just gonna have a similar level of uncertainty with this one where i'm just gonna kind of like level batting a little bit here and there with the hopes that i don't get a game over moment at some point <laughs> hey big boy want to party i give you a real nice time Huh? Is she a foreigner? Don't see too many in Nagoya, except for the one from 30 seconds ago. That's for sure. Come on, don't be shy. Party with me. I make you feel sexy all night. And don't worry, I affordable. I'm flattered, but I'm also flat broke. Maybe you can party some other time. Aw, are you sure? <laughs> oh. Okay. Horrible hacking noises. Whoa, I've never seen a cough that bad. You're not alright, are you? It... The winter over here. Japan freezing. But it always hot where I'm from. Ugh. I don't feel good. Maybe you caught something standing out here in the cold? You should go home and be in bed. Can't. I get in trouble if I'm not working. Horrible coughing noises that I don't want to replicate. Look, you're in no state to be working. In fact, you should be seeing a doctor. Doctors ask for money. That means I have to work. Well, what about taking some medicine? Don't you have some? Medicine? There are too many. I can't... Read. Excuse me. I, I, I can't read label. Cancer, stand by and watch. The least I can do is offer her a vitamin drink to help her get through the night. I thought the guy with the mask was staring at me. Here comes a new challenger! Alright, leveling. Boozer's lore? Thrown at me after a finishing blow. Huh. More heat gauge. Okay. I have a weird worm, a pipe, and pocket tissues. Infinite ammo pipe is, is neat. That means that I can level up my weapon skill without having to, like, go out there and constantly, like, upgrade stuff. Anyway, I have $17, so I can't get her a health drink. We're actually going to play a character that has money problems, which is extremely unusual for, y for Yakuza. It makes it an actual resource that I need to think about a little bit. Come on, Chief, that's just cold. You really gonna walk by without even so much as a glance? Uh, what? Step inside and discover a world full of wonder, mystery, excitement. Our massage parlor guarantees a happy ending with every purchase. It's the happiest ending on Earth. We're the Cheeky Chestnut. For an incredibly low price of 4,500 yen, our girls do the, go the extra distance for none of the extra pay. Huh. That is cheap, but I've never heard of this place before. Well, we're opened only recently, but I can guarantee our girls will not only give you a happy ending, they'll give you a new beginning. <laughs> they'll give, find you a new career. You'll be very well transform your life. I guess I can use this for a story if worse comes to worse. Relax your mind, clear your thoughts, unload yourself. <laughs> this is a one of a kind experience that people desperately need, especially in dark times like these. Are you, sir, bricked up? No thanks. Nah, ma maybe some other time. Ah, oh, too bad, but hey, we'll be here. I don't have money. 2,500 yen might be cheap in in reality, but it's not cheap when you have 17 yen. 
No. Stop knowing who I am. Hey, Tachan. Good timing, man. I got a nifty little pr proposition for you. Oh, what is it? I met this fellow at a bar. Said he's the president of a small company and he's looking to hire a secretary. The job calls for a single guy in his 30s with a brawny build and cheerful personality. And I instantly thought of you. I can understand the cheerful personality part, but why would he want a secretary with a brawny build? Who knows? Maybe you're supposed to be a bodyguard as well. He said he needs to, to see a resume, and there'll be an interview just as a formality. But apparently he can offer a pretty competitive salary. I also told him you work in the nightlife industry, but he doesn't see that that as a problem. To me, it's a sweet deal. Aren't you always saying how you're up to your neck in debt? Couldn't hurt to at least check it out. Huh. Is this a full employee position with all the juicy benefits? That's what he said. Be making good money on a steady basis. Doesn't get much better than that. It's not a very big company, but they're a legit business. Nothing shady about them. Why would the president of a legit business need a bodyguard? Because he's gay. I just said bodyguard as a guess. Anyway, I, uh, I can get you in touch with them if you want. It may not be a bad deal. What should I do? Take the interview. Be Arnold Schwarzenegger when he used to get paid to just walk around at this dude's house naked all the time. Well, alright. I guess I could give it a shot. How do I go about getting this interview again? Okay, so you need to prepare a resume first. I have a few forms that our girls use. Uh, you can fill out one of those. You can fill it out. You can fill out one of those. <laughs> the resume is a thong. Uh, huh. Name, address, age, education, employment history. Uh, what else? Measurements. Oh, right. My motives for wanting to join the company. Uh, what does this company do? He said they're a food. They're in food processing. Food processing. I don't know squat about that. I'll just have to wing it. It's fine. You're in the meat industry. What reason should I give for applying? Uh... I was attracted by the president's reputation. Why not? There. You never even met the guy. You are so full of it. That's why I used the word reputation. I suppose that's true. Okay, next. Hobbies and skills. I don't need to BS this one, so what do I write? Knock balls out of the park. I like to get my balls rubbed. I've got balls of steel. Uh, okay, so we're making the same joke here. I gotcha. <laughs> this is just so overt that it's like, what the? F All right, balls of steel. Let's go. Balls of the park is strange. I've got balls of steel and exceptional brawn. How's that? They didn't want someone with a brawny build, so maybe they would like that. I don't know about the balls part, though. Either way, and this job really does turn out to be for a bodyguard, I think I'm out. You should ask about that at the interview. Yeah, you should ask what your job is. <laughs> there, the resume is good as, good as gold. Nice! Then let's get you over to that interview. You mean, like, right now? They're only looking for one new hire. You wouldn't want someone else to beat you to the punch, would you? I'll let the president know you're coming. Oh, and good luck. If you get the job, come back with your first paycheck. To celebrate, we'll hook you up with our super steamy VIP special. Ah, oh, you do that for little old me? You know how to motivate a guy. I'll head over there right now. I don't think he has a read on what this is. It's like, why would the president want this brawny dude? Who are these big fellas behind the president? Are they the bodyguards? Makes me wonder if this really is legit. Alright, Shinada. I'm Egashira, and I'm the president of this here company. So, without further ado, what do you say we get this show on the road? Yes, sir. Good. Now I see you were recommended by the manager of Strawberry, but don't expect any preferential treatment. 
This is going to be an impartial hiring process. Oh, of course. What the heck? I thought this was interview was supposed to be just about f just a formality. But I must say, he did send us quite the beefcake. As far as brawny builds go, you're number one candidate so far. You look exceptionally capable of doing our sort of work. Oh, uh, thank you. Yes, well, let's start with your reason for wanting to join our company. I was attracted by the president's reputation. You heard of me through Strawberry's manager, eh? So what might my reputation be? Uh, not the start I was hoping for. I don't know anything about his reputation, but I do need to write this out. Well, what have you heard of me? Uh, you're cheerful and fun to be around. Noble and caring shooting. Let's do noble and caring. I heard you're a noble and dignified employer who deeply cares for his workers. Oh, <laughs> I see. Well, I certainly do recognize that quality in myself, if I'm allowed to boast. If that really is your motive for seeking work under me, I couldn't be more pleased. Bingo. That was the right answer. I value each one of our, our workers like a priceless sculpture. <laughs> Treasures to be cherished and admired. I dedicate my life to keeping them safe and at my bosom. <laughs> Weird word choice. Uh, even knowing, the, the, even guessing the context. Perhaps you could join them. I'd be honored to, sir. Didn't expect things to go this good. Guess it never hurts to try. The level of narrative irony happening here. Now, Shinada, I know you're from Tokyo, but I see you've lived in Nag uh, Nagoya for quite a long time. Have you always been a, a nightlife journalist? Well, yes. I've managed to scrape by so far. Indeed. I imagine your income might be unsteady, stringing along one writing gig to the next. Seems like it could be quite rough. Perhaps you're ready to move on from that. With all due respect, I take pride in my work, and I try to live life without regretting the paths I've walked. Well, now that takes a lot of heart to say. I like the cut of your jib, son. You've got spunk. Much more than I originally thought. Oh, speaking of balls, <laughs> Strawberry's manager has mu ha must have sent you to me because he saw that quality in you. I need to thank him for that. I need to thank him, too. It's because of him that I got to meet you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you don't miss a beat. You know how to please an old man. Oh, no, I'm not that... pleasing. <laughs> what? Bring it home, baby. What a weird sentence. The job's... this job's as good as mine. Maybe, maybe in Japanese it was something along the lines of like, I'm not a flatterer or something. But it just came out so strangely. Huh? What is on this resume? Hmm. What you wrote under your hobbies and skills is quite intriguing. It is? It says I've got balls of steel and exceptional brawn. Since you went out of your way to write that and even used all caps, <laughs> I'm sure you're very confident in that regard. Oh, absolutely. There's not much I'm proud of in my life, but one thing I can take pride on is in pride in is my strength. Hmm. You certainly do have an impressive build. What with those finely toned arms and broad, muscular shoulders. I'm sure they'll serve you well in this, at this position. May I ask a question? I know you're looking for a secretary, but is there a manual labor aspect of this job? I intend to explain that later. Why? Are you worried what this job entails? I'm worried whether I can measure up. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little too concerned whether I measure up for the job or not. Let me do the measuring here. I assume that by virtue of you being here, you already trust my judgment. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to doubt you, sir. That said, is this really a secretary job? Now, as you can probably guess, I founded this company and I make all the decisions. I handle the hiring process by myself. I interview all the candidates, and I alone make the call whether to hire, whether, whether to hire or not. With this kind of organizational structure, I expect absolute loyalty from my workers. It's a relationship like that of a father and his sons. Let me ask you this, Shinada. Can you obey me like you would your father? 
Are you mentally, physically, emotionally prepared to do my at my every bidding, no matter how excruciating? That's getting weird. <laughs> the phrasing got really weird. Well, this sounds like the Yakuza. Is this company a front for mobsters? This could be your last chance to turn back. Well, can you swear total subservience to me? I swear to it. This is a bad idea. Yes, I swear to it. Excellent. That took courage. Then, Shinada, allow me to congratulate you. Welcome to our corporate family. Huh? Just like that? I told you, I make the decisions. If I say go, there's no one to say no. My decision is final. Oh, and don't worry about the salary. I can assure you we're far more generous than Nightlife Magazine. Our pockets run deep for a reason. There's more the space for more than tissues. Seriously? Something feels off about this. Alright, Shinada. You're my secretary now. Let's get you started right away. Uh, okay. What should I do? Come with me and see for yourself. What is about to happen? What is about to happen? What on earth is going on here? Oh, you know, just another day at the office. You'll get used to it. Get used to my boss wearing nothing but a loincloth? It's called a fundoshi, you uncultured swine. Fat chance. Oh, don't get your fundoshi in a bunch. Now strip, Shinada. You swore total subservience, remember? Like a son to his father. Stop saying th th those words specifically. So come over to daddy. No need to be shy. This is what you were planning? Don't you find it wrong to just spring this on me out of nowhere? Oh, believe me, I do. In fact, that's the thrill of it. The mere thought of how bizarre the situation is makes my heart throb, among other things. I'm so confused by... his body. They gave him, like, a fat skeleton to the model, but gave him a ripped, like, texture. And it just wouldn't be that defined if he's, like, sticking out that much. Like, he's just very bizarre to look at. Also, this got really... I was hoping this would be more of a misunderstanding. Like, oh, you're being hired to be, uh... You're, you're being hired to show off your body in this specific context. But no, this guy's just a creepy guy. He's just being a weird predator, dude. Like, this is just shitty behavior. Well, can't just have fun. Now savor it, Shinada. Breathe it all in. I've been waiting for this moment since the first time I laid eyes on you, and what a feast you are. So, that interview was all just for show? We, uh, we'd have ended up here either way? That's right, Shinada. And now it's time for you to end up on my lap. Do as you're told, my son. Our daddy's gonna have to sp or daddy's gonna have to spank you. No one's spanking anyone today. You can forget about the role play. I'm going home. <laughs> you just keep getting better and better. I know I had you pegged as the perfect wayward son. Father knows best, after all. Is it time for the fight? Yeah. It's like the it's like the it's like the level making fun of baby people in Kiwami one or two. But I can see you have a wild streak that requires a bit of discipline. As your father, I hate to do this, but you'll think you'll thank me for it in the end. Get ready for some tough love. The hell's with this company? Do all your employees get initiated like this? You know what? I don't even care. Let's just get this over with. Threatening men. That music change. <laughs> oh, I, wow, I do not remember how to play this guy immediately. He's weird. But I can grab at the I can grab after finishers. <laughs> What's happening with this music? Ooh. That's a bad time. Oh my god! Calm down. Okay.
You're a rebellious lad, all right. No wonder you caught my eye. You're welcome back here if you ever change your mind, Shinetta-kun. Not happening. Okay, then. Here's your severance pay. I'll trust you keep this dark secret between us. Like any good father and son. I don't... No! 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 Stop! Fucking dark secret between father and son in the, the context of being sexually assaulted. Holy fuck, that is some money, though. That solves a few problems that we had this episode. So much for trying to change careers. Uh, I just wanted to have a funny game misunderstanding in a quest. Is that too much to ask? Can, can the gay stories just be, like, sympathetic and amusing and fun and lighthearted and not characterized as a predator, maybe? Wouldn't that be fun if you didn't characterize the gay character as a predator? You know? Could you not fucking do that, please? You know? It's not that big of an ask. I feel like if you just didn't do that, you could just not. It's really easy to just not do that. It's also interesting that in a franchise that constantly objectifies women and limits their abilities and doesn't let them ha uh, fill any of the roles that men do in almost any context, that the time that a, uh, a man is being hit on and objectified is like, wow, wacky music, because this is a funny, hilarious joke. Could you imagine the man being objectified by a man? Great. I don't know. Uh, they, they set my hopes up and they dash them by being... Uh, themselves with how they usually handle uh, that entire s topic. <laughs> uh, reminder of how Kiwami 1 and 2 just had the worst relationship with trans people. If they could even be called trans people because it was increasingly... it's It was hard to say for sure what was supposed to be happening with half those characters. But they had an ongoing thing in Kiwami 1 and 2 where Oh, there's there's the usual thing where you can never fight you can never fight women in these games, which I'm, I don't want to be like mis uh, misrepresented as somebody that's like just desperate to beat on female character models. Wow, why you only let me beat on men? But like at some point it starts to get weird that like every single woman is universally incapable of fighting, and every single man is capable of fighting. Like every nerdy loser, this game's full of nerdy losers that you one shot. Like, they, they let you just obliterate people that are not even remotely ready for combat, as long as they're men. But not a single woman will ever be in a fight, uh, aside from the cop lady, but she, was on, but she was on your team, specifically. So you can have one lady assist you in one game, and aside from that, every single woman's a damsel and or can't be in a fight. To the point where every dispute between women, they summon men out of nowhere that are introduced in that moment to then fight for them, and then disappear. Like, it's comical how gender-locked the roles are in this franchise in that specific way. Uh, but Kiwami, specifically the Yakuza 1 and 2, and their Kiwami adaptations because they kept them in, strangely, we're full of these moments where they like, please do not activate the diet. Fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna have to hang out here now and wrap up the episode in pause menu because I'm accidentally triggering shit. So, they did this thing where they would have you fight a female character model, but every single time they would explain that that person was either a cross-dresser or they were trans or some other clumsy phrasing where it makes it difficult to exact exactly identify what kind of person that character was uh because the game was handling it clumsily but it's, it essentially amounted to the game has has excused uh, ta uh, fighting this woman because actually they're a man by their standards and that with its own weird gross i'm continually interested in the fact that earth angel ha just has a I don't even know if trans is the right term necessarily, but there is a assigned male at birth person who is dressed at, in female attire and is just there all the time and they're, and they're called mama and no one ever questions it. And that's like this weird, interesting detail that's just there all the time. And it specifically stands out because everywhere else they handle it so strangely whenever they encounter anything that's LGBT related or anything. Like, 
this gets into the baby thing a little bit too from what the earlier games but like they like any kind of like sexual deviancy is exclusively played as a joke almost ex- almost every time i think the most sincerely it's ever been handled was uh how to train your dominatrix which i uh, that was definitely supposed to be funny but you were sincerely trying to help a do- uh, dominatrix in training be better at her job at pleasing people uh, by giving them the specific role play that they want. So it was like the most sincere version of something in this territory. But for something that's this concerned with nightlife and constantly has hostesses and hosts, uh, but the hostesses are sexualized and the hosts are like, bros you hang out with, and yo, it's that guy. It's my friend, the host. Uh, the fact that they they will often frame any kind of deviancy as either uh, something to laugh at or something that's predatory is disappointing for several reasons. And that's without, we even, that's without us even getting to the fact that like Yakuza 3 had like apparently an entire subplot about a trans woman that would sexually assault you repeatedly uh, as a joke. And they cut that from the Western release. And that became a controversial point because the SJWs are ruining gaming. And I'm like... Nah, that kind of sounds like something that was maybe for the best to not keep in the HD remake of the game, honestly. Because <laughs> uh, like Yakuza 3 went down as being one of my favorites, except for the ending being rough. But like, I actually liked the Okinawa and the orphanage and everything, and so that would have been a bummer to deal with. And this quest was a bummer, because we could have had fun, and they had to ruin that. Because they don't care about me.